Okay. Hey everybody, it's Kogramical, and welcome back to more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. And this time around, you have to see if we can find some way to convince Edgeworth to just defend defend him. So we're back here at Gore Lake and let's see what we can do with Gumshoe. Defense request. Is is it true? No one will take Mr. Edgeworth's case? Yeah. He's a bit of a celebrity. If you defended him and lost, your reputation be sure to suffer. What's more, the case against him is, well, it's pretty solid. I suppose it will be if they have a witness. Hey pal! Don't tell me you're going to turn your back on him too! Remember the Steel Samurai? Mr. Edgeworth helped you get your client declared innocent. Uh, I know, that is true. <laughs> that was kind of weird for that part for Edgeworth, really. But he really doesn't, doesn't want us to represent him. Especially not us, he said. What? W well, that doesn't make any sense, pal. You should have heard him talking about you after the Steel Samurai case. He kept saying, right, 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 over and over. Really? Nick? I'm not sure that's a good sign. Neither am I. Why would he want your help? I don't get it. Detective Gumshoe, sir. What? Find something? Um, no sir, not yet. But there was a call from the precinct. They want to hold an investigation briefing. A briefing? Right, I'm off. Oh. Sorry, pal. I guess you heard. I gotta go. Any last thing you want to ask me about before I head back? Um... How do I get in touch with you again? Oh wait, the autopsy report too. Hmm... That is a lot more important. Well, yes, do you have any information on the victim? Sorry. They haven't worked up the autopsy report yet. I'm still waiting for it myself. Actually... Say, if you get the time, drop by the precinct. We can talk more there, pal. You're not coming back, detective? Uh, probably not, pal. So, what should we do if we have something to talk to you about? Ah, right. Here, I'll show you how to get to the precinct. Come down and see me anytime. Detective Gumshoe gave you direction to the police station. Oh, hey, Detective Gumshoe. <coughs> What? Um, we like to take a look around in the park. Can we walk around? Yeah, no problem, pal. You got my permission. You know, Nick, I think there's something to be said for talking to people when they're busy. Yeah, they don't have time to think about not giving you information. Right, now let's get investigating. Well, I guess we're going to the park. Let's look at the detention, I mean, the criminal affairs department, but let's go to the lake first. So here we are, Gord Lake. Wow, sirs, this is Gord Lake? Yup. I'm not sure it warrants in a wow, sir, though. Hmm, probably not. But hey, look at that snack stand. Samurai dogs. I want a samurai dog, please. I bet they're great. With a name like Samurai Dog, how could they not be? They're a little behind the times though. The kids are all into the pink princess now. I mean, like, you know. Nope. That was from the previous case, in case you guys don't know. So let's check around here. We got some party hats. Let's see. Ah, uh, someone left one of those poppers. Oh, those are poppers. <laughs> okay. Pop, and they go. Hmm. Hey, Nick, it might be a clue. Really? The poppers are a clue? Huh. Oh, well. Huh. Oh, well. I guess it's 
Guess something is something, I'll take it. Huh, where- wait. Oh, you took it. Man, that was fast. Do you want to pop her for the evidence or for yourself, Maya? Okay, let's see. We got trash cans. Empty. Hmm. Not too good. We got the lake. Wow, Gore Lake is really big. Yep. Say, Nick, why is it called Gore Lake? I don't even know. Well, a long time ago, they used to grow gourds here. Gourds? What the heck are gourds? Well, no way. I was sure it was because the lake looked like a gourd when I view from above. You know, like an hourglass shape? Well, it is shaped like a gourd actually, but that's just a coincidence. Hmm. I can't really believe it being called Gore Lake just because of the shape. Okay, what well, about these samurai dogs? The hot dog stand. It's close. The Christmas fringe looks a little half baked. The banner reads Samurai Dogs. Okay. Well, there's nothing I can do here, apparently. I only got poppers, so. Hmm. Nothing more, nothing less. Hmm. Plastic benches. Hmm. Okay, guess we're going to the precinct. Let's see, so, what about this poppers? A classic party noisemaker, pull the string, it goes bang. Not very clue-worthy. Yeah, not very clue-worthy at all, but... Okay, let's go to the precinct, or unless we can go somewhere else. Oh, we can go to the woods and boat rental shop. Hmm. Well, let's go to the woods first. Huh, someone has a camera. In a, in a mic there. I like it here, Nick. Look, someone's camping. They got guts camping at the scene of a murder. Hey, hey, Nick. They were camping here last night. They might know something about the murder. Mm, I think this might be the witness, actually. Good call, Maya. Let's go talk to them. If they're around here. So, wait, no, no, don't move. Let's examine around here first. We got a picnic here. Hmm. Campsite is cold. We got a campfire. Hey, Nick. What? Don't tell me you're hungry again. N no. I was just wondering. Why are camping pots and pans made of aluminum? Uh... To heat the food. They didn't talk about that in any of the law books. So there's no law saying they had to be made out of aluminum then. Um, yeah. You can find a different heat source and go ahead. I guess you can cook them on rocks, I guess, as well. This SUV has been better, has seen better days. Really? It looks pretty fine to me. Dented all over. Huh. Wait. People can drive cars inside parks? That's so weird. We got a sign. No camping. Funny place to pick to, pick to pinch your tent. Wait. Why would this sign said no setting tents, or f tents on fire? I don't think they have signs like that. <laughs> Wait. Okay. Uh, how about this way? We got this camera and mic here. This camera has a mic and some sort of attachment. It must take picture when triggered by a noise. Wow, cool. Let's try it out. Uh, Hi, I'm Nick. Why are you saying my name? Maybe I'm not saying it loud enough. Hey, I'm Nick. Huh. Oh my god. Okay, calm down. Will you stop that? Maybe it's broken. Don't kick it. Maybe it isn't set to respond to voices. Well, what then? I know. The party poppers. What? Uh, well, there goes, uh, okay. 
Yep, it responded. Ciao! Hey you, get your hands off of that. E and we found someone. Why in the Sam Hill? Look what you done now. There goes a whole row of film. Uh, uh, what? Uh huh. Uh, sorry, sorry, nice, but it don't pay my bills. You all know how much a roll that film costs. Uh, I'll pay you back. No, you won't, mind. I don't have money. What would y'all think is setting up a party popper in a place like this? Uh, well, where where were you exactly, ma'am? Don't try to play stupid with me just because you think I'm just some country bumpkin. Yeah, I know how y'all. Janks think. Janks? I say those southern folks talk with that accelerated draw with why they must be dumb. Well, let me tell you, just because I might be dumb, don't mean we all are. Uh, you technically, uh, said you're dumb. N Nick? Hell, no, that's your own problem, Maya. And who are you now, her chaperone? Uh, I guess at this moment, I guess. Friends, just figure out what y'all are gonna say and say it for bejesus' sake. God, I'd rather sit through a one of Papa Thrall than listen to you stutter all day. Alright, here we go. Well, watch it. Yes, ma'am. On second thought, though, I'll pay it later. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Don't worry, we're sorry. So, who are you, anyways? Uh, we ha don't even have their profile yet, so. Let's talk to them. So, uh, what's your name? <clears throat> um. What? <laughs> Jeez, man, they're so pissed. Can't you see I'm changing the film on my camera here? Someone, I'm not naming any names, but someone used up a whole role. Sorry. And that didn't work. I wonder if I have anything to show her that will get her attention. I guess I need to get her some film. Um. What? Can you just see I'm changing the. Okay, well. I guess I cannot do nothing here. I need to get something to convince her to talk to me. Can I examine the camera again? Just for giggles? Huh. Huh. Okay, well, we did get her to get out here, so. Huh. Well, let's go somewhere else, I guess. There was another place we could go to. There was the, uh, the boat rental. Right? Yeah, boat rental shop. Let's see what we can find here. Boat rental shop. Nick? What is this place? Well, as you can see, the sign says Boat Rentals. Close for Christmas, seem. I guess a murder taking place on one of the boats won't be good for business either. Boats? I never really on a, on a boat. Me neither. Really? Well, how about we go out on one on one when the trial is finished? Hey, good idea. You bet. Okay, let's us uh, check around here. Got some boats. I don't think there's nothing on the boats, but let's see. Was one of these boats using the murder? I wonder. Nick. Huh? I changed my mind. I don't really want to go for a boat ride. Huh? Well, that's fine too, Maya. A small boat rental shop. Doesn't look like anyone is around. They're probably closed because it's Christmas. Really? Is there nothing I can do here? For real? Uh... Can I... Huh. I guess I cannot do nothing here. How about the forest? There's more forest off that way. I doubt I'd find any helpful clues in there. Can I check the door? Or the lake? Actually, no. Door? Nope. Okay. Well... <laughs> I guess we have no choice but to go to the, uh... Precinct. Man, nice office. Criminal Affairs. Looks like Detective Gumshoe isn't here. Man, no one is here. Something wrong, miss? Hmm? Turn yourself in? 
Okay, what do you do? Shoplifting, larceny, public indecency. No, none of those things. We're looking for Detective Gumshoe. Is he around? Gumshoe. Oh yeah, he's in a meeting right now. I don't think he'll be out anytime soon. Okay, we'll come back. You do that. Oh, and go straight home and stay out of trouble. No more shoplifting, you got that? Do I look like a criminal or something? Uh, I don't know. Cops are awfully suspicious of everything, really. So is there any evidence I can pick around here? Uh, I, I doubt I'll find anything useful here, but who knows? We got some more stuff around here. Oh, there's nothing here. Okay, skip that. Uh, let's go to this guy here. The chief of detectives here. He glued to his computer screen. What? Gore Lake? Or decided? I don't believe it. Uh, shouldn't you be reading something more important? Eh, uh, I, I guess. So, hey, is that the police department mascot? That's the blue badger. Who has my idea? I made it. It's my mascot. Uh, I see. How nice. I'll get him a signed mascot of the criminal affairs department. If it's the last thing I do. Um, good luck with that. So there's nothing I can do around here, really. How about this thing here? A poster of a female police officer. Wait, no. That's the latest baby in uniform. What? <laughs> my bad. Uh, okay. How about this guy here? This might be one of the detectives. He's mumbling something to himself. Your mama could see you. No, she'd be crying. I break and spit it out, your lowlife scumbag. You must be doing image training for interrogation. I guess so. So, there's nothing I can do here. Dang it, what, what do I need to do here then? Oh wait, I, I didn't show her my badge. Ah, I could have shown her my badge. Okay, wait, let's go back to Gore Lake. Let's see, uh, present my badge. Uh, this is my badge. Huh? Aren't badges supposed to be all shiny and impressive? You are a cop or something? Um, I'm a lawyer. What? You ain't gonna try and pull one of them lawsuits on me over that film now. Cause I'll have y'all know, I'm a fighter and I wrestle meaner looking things in you. No, that's not it at all. We're here investigating a murder that took place here on the lake. A murder? Sounds cool. Why didn't y'all say that in the first place? Go ahead, ask me anything you like. Finally, some cooperation. You too. Y'all can come out of the out of hiding now. It won't. I won't bite hard. Come to think of it, where did Maya get to? S Sorry. I, I was feeling a little overwhelmed. The culture gap and all. Never you mind, honey. I can't talk jank for ya if um, if it pleases you. Thanks. I think I'll be okay. Great then. I'm Lara. Lara Hart. Lara Hart. But y'all can call me Lara. I'm here for photo photographing meteor showers for a research project. There's meteor showers in... Huh. Mighty pleased to meet ya. Well, we got her to uh, talk to me, that's for sure. So, Lara Hart. Claims to be a research student. She camped out to photograph shooting stars, age 22. Nice afro too. Well, anyways, I guess we can talk to Lara Hart on the next episode. So, I'll see you guys then. Goodbye.